Determined to promote local content development and reduce expenditure on foreign goods, the federal government saved as much as $12 million from the sales of locally developed SIM cards used in mobile phones and other devices. Speaking on the sad lines of the ongoing African NXT conference, the head of Spectrum Administration, Mr. Abraham Oshadami, maintained that the digital economy agenda of the federal government is built around eight pillars of the NCC, driven by, loudly by telecommunication infrastructure. Meanwhile, the head of digital skills and services at the NCC, Mr. Freda Bruce Brennett, noted that infrastructure development remains key to achieving full digital economy, whilst reiterating the Commission's commitment to advancing the growth of the digital economy by improving telecommunication services and infrastructure. In this area, as a country and as a Commission, we are doing our best because I can say with all boldness that in the entire African continent, Nigeria happens to take the lead in making available wireless resources for deployment of broadband. I tell you why. There are some of the spectrum uh, bands that have been made available in Nigeria that most African countries are yet unable to do it. And the reason is that we ensure that we have proper uh, policies that will enable us to deploy these infrastructures and, and these resources and make them available. We realized when we're speaking and engaging with um, a lot of innovators, they did say there are so many. We have um, Ministry of Trade and Investment, you have NOTAB, you have um, Standards Organization of Nigeria. Who in particular should I go to? So this is what we try to help you address. So the Commission is working um, very hard to ensuring that this group of people, indigenous, made in Nigeria for Nigeria by Nigeria to the world, survive.